So here we are. Hey, believe it or not, I went half an hour recording this <laughs> without hitting the record button on the camera. And it was like the best performance I've ever had. Well, we'll try to repeat it. So I've picked six main learnings for this video. One, control what you can control. Know your purpose. Just get started. Model the wise. Happiness lies in the next five minutes. Life is short. Live it to the fullest. So control what you can control. This comes from Epictetus. And what he states is that at the end of the day, all that we can control is one thing. If I would ask you, what can you control actually in your life? Many people would start answering, well, I can control, you know, my body, my health. I can control my career. Uh, if I, you know, work hard, I will move on and I will get to where I want to go. I can control how many friends I have. If I'm nice to people, I can control my destiny. If I do the right steps, I'll get the right results. The truth is unfortunately different. The one thing you can really only have total control on, it is one and one thing only. That thing is your mind and how you react to external factors. You can only control how you react to things. You cannot control the final result, believe it or not. You can influence the final result. You can definitely influence it, but you cannot decide if the result you will get is that what you are striving for? I was um, beginning of January on an airplane flying home to Italy, and um, I was pondering exactly this question as I was going through a course I was doing. The question was, can you control your destiny? And I stopped and I started pondering because I like to think of myself as an achiever, as somebody who creates its own future. I've done that again and again in my life. So I was standing to, yeah, to some good extent, I can actually control and define and decide for my destiny. And then as I was pondering and as, as I was standing toward this direction, I obviously, by the way, had forgot Epictetus learning. The airplane starts going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so, you know, that happens sometimes. And right there and then I answered the question. And the answer was, no, I cannot control my destiny. I, I cannot decide for my destiny. I can try to influence it. As the airplane goes up and down, I can decide if I panic, I can decide what I do, if I stay sit or, or stand up or whatever, but I cannot decide if the plane goes down. Can I? The same applies to everything else in life. You can try to influence, you can try to put yourself into the right place at the right time. You, with your efforts, you can achieve so much. You can achieve more than anybody else but you don't decide if something external changes the direction you go. The only one thing you can decide upon is how you react to what happens to you in life. How you react to what happens to you in life will define what type of life you live, what level of fulfillment you'll have. How you deal with challenges will define who you are and where you get. Number two, knowing your purpose. If you are trying to achieve anything that is outside of your comfort zone, if you are trying to evolve in any way and not just living life like in autopilot, chances are that you will face adversity. 
If you're not facing adversity really, you are probably not getting out of your comfort zone and you are not striving for big enough goals anyways. When you face adversity, the one thing that lets you actually stay the course and keep on moving into the direction of your objective, it is knowing your why. It is knowing your purpose. If you know your purpose, you will not give up. If your purpose is big enough, is strong enough. Look, I'm pretty sure if we ask the average person, they will, they will tell you, like, like, what are your goals in the next five years? I want to make more money. I want to improve in my career. I want to get fit in this and that. Those are goals. Those are objectives. But then ask the same question. Actually, try that. Please do try that with your friends or family. After they tell you what they want to get, ask them why. Ask them why do you want to get this? They will not answer as quick, you know. Do we really know why we want to get, you know, let's say to a hundred thousand euros a, a year? I want to earn a hundred thousand euros or dollars a year. Why? I want to I wanna improve my life standards. I want to buy a new car and I want to an apartment or something okay and why do you want to buy the apartment if you go down seven levels deep asking why do you want to do something you will probably get to your purpose at least seven times ask why and you will see it, it, it is magical it makes you go down deep down into the reasons that are actually moving and driving you so know your purpose, try to ask seven times why you want to get something and maybe you will get to your purpose. There are many, many interesting books about, about this, uh, understanding your driving values, understanding your purpose and all of this. But this one single tool, it is, it is already like, it can be life changing because knowing your why will help you through the tough times, will help you not giving up. Just getting started. I am a master, a master at overthinking. Even four years into, into my own business, I still manage to overthink some very simple things. And I have to remind myself every day that actually I just have to take action and learn from the results, you know? It's important to analyze, don't get me wrong. It's important to take controlled risks, good type of risks. It's stupid to, you know, throw yourself out there and, and, just, and just make mistake after mistake without doing your homework. But there is a limit. And many of us, they fall into what, what, what people call analysis paralysis. You don't take action because you want to know every single detail. Well, guess what? People who take action will run past you and you will stay behind. That's how, how it goes. It's that simple. Take action. Take little steps. The first little step, it's going to be easy and it creates momentum. You know, when you recognize you are overanalyzing in that moment, you need that type of awareness. But Every one of us is capable of that. Meditation, by the way, helps with that, with being more aware of what you are doing right now in the moment. If you recognize, okay, now I'm spending too much time on this topic, change your state, stand up, move away from where you're sitting and decide right in that moment to take one little step toward the achievement of whatever you are trying to do through your learning. Take that one little step. It's gonna create positive momentum. It's gonna beat fear Action beats fear every day of the week. Through action, you're gonna beat fear and you're gonna create positive momentum to move on. Epictetus was saying, let go of the past, we must only begin. Do that, do that. Trust me, that works wonders. The other one is modeling the wise. I've learned this way, way, way too late in my, in my life. Like, you know, if I knew it before, the fastest way to get from where I am to where I wanna be 
is finding somebody who is already there, asking the right questions and modeling them, doing the same things they are doing and trying to get the same results. If you, if you model somebody who is there, you will get from A to B in the fastest way possible. Let's say you want to lose 10 kilos in um, X amount of months. Find somebody who has exactly done that, who had your same type of body and was in the same situation as you are. Ask the right questions, learn from them and take action. Remember, start with a little step and move on. So whatever you want to achieve in business, in sports, family, anything, if you find somebody who is already there where you want to go, learn from them, take action, model them, do it, and you will get results in the fastest way possible. This is a pretty top of mind kind of reminder that I have for myself. I actually have it in my vision board back there. Uh, I have uh, hanging on the wall something that reminds me every day of my values, my goals, what I want to achieve and why I want to achieve it. And right in the middle, I have this reminder uh, that is really happiness lies in the next five minutes. What does that mean? Marcus Aurelius actually says, I'm reading here just to, to get it right. Um, Concentrate every minute, every minute like a Roman, like a man. Concentrate on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness. If you concentrate in the here and now, in what you are doing, without feeling the pressure of where you want to go by doing this, you actually are living life. You are living in the present, remember that. We tend, people who achieve, who are achievers, people who are progression focused, tend to live in the future. Life is lived here now. Then he goes on saying, you see how few things you have to do to live a satisfying and reverent life? Yes, because life is lived right now. So you have to actually be present. Don't care about the outcome. The outcome will follow you if you forget about it in some ways. I know it is counterintuitive. There is a beautiful last chapter, I think, or toward the last in Tools of Titans of Tim Ferriss. It is page 561. It is called Ice Bath Epiphanies. He talks about, um, basically, he wanted to learn tennis and uh, he wore, how much in pain he was during this training camp he was doing, uh, like everything was hurting, therefore the ice baths and stuff, and how he could not hit, hit the target until one coach told him, focus on where you hit the ball. Focus on where you hit the ball. Instead of focusing on the target, don't be, you know, the target comes actually after hitting the ball, right? Focus on hitting the ball at the right spot. Once he did that shift, he started hitting, hitting the target consistently. Again, in this chapter, just the beginning actually of the chapter, before it starts, there is a beautiful, beautiful sentence uh, from Viktor Frankl, who is the man who wrote Men Search for Meaning. If you haven't read that book, you're missing a masterpiece. Uh, shut down the video and go buy the book. What Viktor Frankl says is that forget about the outcome, forget about the goal. If you, if you know every action you do is just to get to that goal, etc., you won't get there. The moment you forget about it, you will be pulled toward the goal. So live in the present, live right now. Viktor Frankl is actually somebody who survived the concentration camps in Auschwitz. He's a psychiatrist, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, definitely a psychologist, I think a psychiatrist. He knows what is the, a neurologist even. Oh my God, I have to get this right.
Last one, life is short, live it to the fullest. I constantly try to remind myself of being respectful of others, you know, live, live, live life uh, without expectations, but actually appreciation, actually replacing expectation for appreciation and enjoying this very right moment. Again, I am somebody who needs to achieve to feel fulfilled, who needs to grow to feel fulfilled. But that growing process, it can be a painful one. Look at what is happening in Russia and Ukraine, I should say, right? Isn't Russia trying to grow as well? But you can grow in a constructive or in a, in a destructive way. How long did it take to build the Twin Towers? And how long did it take to actually destroy them? Destroying, being destructive, is actually the easiest thing to do. We are all gonna meet our Creator. When we will meet Him, will we look back at life and be proud of the life we lived? Did we create or did we destruct? Life is short. Live it to the fullest, do good for others, it will pay back to you a hundred times. So with this one, I think uh, January for me is close and it has been like a, an incredibly enriching, enriching um, experience to, to go back to my own notes and, and reading this. I'm looking forward to do February. I hope this is helpful to somebody. If you like this type of videos, Subscribe and uh, you know activate the bell so you get notified when the next one is gonna come up probably next week as it takes some time to you know go back and put all of this together uh, but I'm really looking forward to February's learnings and hopefully you guys enjoy it and I'll see more of you in the next weeks take care